So my brother and I were walking around campus the other day when he said, Hey, come look at this, motioning to a row of recycling receptacles. I read on the outside of the first container, aluminum cans, but upon looking inside, I saw much more than that. Then I looked in the plastic bottles container, and the newspaper container. Eventually, I started noticing recycling bins all over campus with similarly mixed contents. And believe it or not, the results were the same or even worse for receptacles off campus. So I very quickly realized that we have a serious problem sorting our own recyclables correctly. Can people really not tell the difference between a plastic bottle, an aluminum can, a newspaper, or anything else? Of course they can. Are people trying to sabotage their cycling process by throwing items in the wrong cans? I sure hope not. So it seems to me that some people just aren't paying attention to which can they're using. So I propose the solution is to raise awareness so that people do pay attention. So I thought about how image processing could help train receptacle users to sort items correctly by one, detecting incorrect use, and two, informing the user of the incorrect use. For detection, we would use a camera and image processing to identify certain classes of items, such as plastic bottles or cans, and determine whether or not they are being placed in the correct bin. If incorrect use is detected, there needs to be a way to inform whoever just misplaced their garbage that they're doing it wrong. To be more specific, we could use a battery or solar powered device with a motion detector, a camera, a flash, and a processor mounted on the inside of each receptacle. Each time the motion detector is triggered, the camera and flash would take a picture of the contents of the can, and the processor would use an object recognition algorithm to determine the probability that the new item is in the wrong can. It would know which item is new because it already took a picture last time an item was added. Then if the item is obviously in the wrong container, a very short and soft sounding buzzer sound would be played within a second or two of the item being inserted, getting the user's attention. Now obviously this object recognition algorithm would be very difficult to design, considering the multitude of ways the objects can be obscured by the bag or by other objects, not to mention the fact that the items could fall at any orientation. In fact, it'd be virtually impossible to write a perfect algorithm for this. But remember that the goal is to raise awareness. So even if the buzzer goes off sometimes when it shouldn't, or doesn't go off sometimes when it should, it would be very difficult for this project to fail completely. As long as people hear the buzzer sometimes, it will challenge them to think twice about which receptacle they are using. Given the cost and maintenance requirements for such a system, the system could be installed in a limited area for a few months, and then periodically rotated to a new area, such as another college campus. Hopefully such a rotation program could eventually cover a large area of the United States and maximize the efficiency of our existing recycling program. Thank you.